Hello and welcome to A Priori Story Timeless. We're here with a bear and a little chipmunk and Zaki who sat here and Zaki brought his own little fuzzy chipmunk today. And we have a short little story <coughs> from the taiga today. Yeah, is this the one that you picked out, Saki? Yeah, we asked Saki to pick his own story and he picked one that features a chipmunk, didn't you? Okay, here we go. You ready? Spring came to the taiga. The taiga is this great forest in uh, Siberia. <coughs> Spring came to the taiga. The bear had spent the entire winter sleeping in his den. But the spring brought the sun and the den started to thaw. The bear woke up. He went out into the woods, feeling very hungry, as he hadn't eaten anything all winter. The bear tried looking for food, but he couldn't find anything. So he became angry and gripped a tree stump with his paws, trying to pull it out. However, he was too weak to do it. The chipmunk jumped out from under the stump. Amaka, why are you so angry? I mean, they call the, uh, the Evenki, call the uh, bear Grandpa Amaka. Amaka, why are you so angry? I'm starving. Do you have any food to spare? I can find some, replied the chipmunk, and treated the bear to sweet roots and nuts from his autumn stalks. The grateful bear stroked the tiny chipmunk with his clawed paw. And that is how chipmunks got black stripes on their backs. It starts the story and it says the Folk tales of the central Siberian indigenous peoples depict the bear as a strong beast whose wrath is to be reckoned with in spite of its kind heart and wisdom. Thank you. That's a good choice for a story, Saki. Thank you all for joining.